Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel. So really quick, again, I do want to just reiterate, I hope you guys all had a happy and safe Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Uh, this is being recorded the weekend following Thanksgiving. Uh, I just got back from my mom's house and my brother's house over the last couple of days, catching up with them and, you know, seeing my friends again and stuff like that, just rekindling and kind of just being together with family before we get back into Ruby. So there is a Ruby episode this week, which is really great. Uh, chapter five, this is going to be my reaction to chapter five of volume six titled The Coming Storm and based on the description i think we're gonna get the interaction and the return of neo uh for the first time since you know we end up seeing what looks to be a neo versus cinder fight in the intro in the uh in the den of the spiders and in the streets or in the the slums of mistral so i'm super excited if this turns out to be true we have not seen neo in nearly three years the last time we saw neo was i believe february of 2016 chapter 11 was technically the last episode of volume three that we saw of neo and volume five volume four and five came and went we haven't seen her we got hints of her in the intro when that came out for volume six and i'm so excited to just see what rooster Teeth has in store for her because i know like you know the, the the last time we actually saw her like fight adequately was um volume two chapter 11 her fight against uh yang on the train and I'm just excited to see how she fares, how Rooster Teeth is going to bring her back into the fold of being a relevant character for the story with Torchwick being dead. You know, I think Neo, for the most part, is a very um, overrated character because we don't have a lot of substance to her. A lot of what we get from her is surface value, and it's based on her appearance, it's based on her fighting style, it's based on her demeanor, and like kind of how they play her up in Ruby Chibi. But for the most part, I do want to kind of get a feel for her on a deeper level, like you know, why doesn't she talk? What's her history like? What's her affiliation with Roman and all that other stuff? So hopefully Rooster Teeth is able to flesh her out for however long they plan on having her a part of the story with Roman being dead at that. Um, and then again, another thing, speaking of Roman, I went back, did a bit of research on the Brunswick Farms mention uh, at the end of chapter five. And apparently that derives from a bit of the Sleepy Hollows reference. So it's basically a reference of the Brothers Grim Fairy Tales of like the headless horseman basically like a horseman who rides on a you know who rides with with no head and basically like a jack-o-lantern for a head and uh what what reminded me of that was roman torchwick because roman torchwick's emblem is a jack-o-lantern so and brunswick farms torchwick farms you know what i mean like i could easily see that being somewhat related more and more to roman so i don't know if this is like where he was born i don't know if we're gonna ever find out about roman's backstory since he is dead at this point but if it's very clear that this is going to be a very neo and maybe roman related chapter so i'm very excited to see that um obviously team ruby and company are going to be holding down uh, at the farm until you know things die down with the with the weather and everything which is probably why the chapter is called the coming storm um probably for the storm that's brewing like the actual snowstorm and the storm that's going to be happening with uh cinder and neo but with all of that said i hope you guys enjoy very excited again this is a 14 minute chapter so i hope you guys look forward to it leave your thoughts as always in the comment section and without further ado let us begin all right guys we're gonna be starting ruby volume six chapter five the coming storm the spiders in mistral always deliver but shelter doesn't always guarantee safety. So that description right there is why I think it's going to be the return of Neo fighting Cinder because of the intro, but also because Cinder's info was going to take a week for them to get back. And during that week, Lil Miss wanted to keep Cinder around in case anybody came around asking for her, which then would prompt Neo to ask for Cinder and then to have the, you know, basically to have them to reunite. So I'm very excited for this 14 minutes, 54 seconds. Also, so, um a, a lot of people were giving some feedback on the last reaction and from here on out i'm actually not going to use the closed captions i'm not going to be using subtitles because i am aware that the rooster teeth site for some reason the subtitles jump ahead of the dialogue so i'm actually able to read what's going to be said before the characters actually say it which can be a little bit not spoilery but it can ruin some of the impact of what is going to happen in the episode so until rooster teeth fixes that i'm not going to be using closed captions so i am sorry if i am going crazy and loud and i can't hear what's happening but i can't read it on the screen either so that's just the you know that's the give and take that i'm gonna have to have right now but so uh, i'm gonna be going in with no closed captions but without further ado we're gonna be starting this in three two one now all righty <laughs> i'm so excited to see Neo in the Maya engine after nearly three years. Oh my god. And the fight choreography too. I'm so excited to see Neo's return to form. It's been so long. 
Stay close, move fast. The darkness cannot last. No hope, no path. But we got a dream to catch, and we cannot wait. Mm -mm -mm. Trust the way we're made. That's also the tunnel that, that they see in Brunswick Farms. Pins Tower. This better happen today. Nose to reach the sea. Rain would help the flowers be. We're the same, you and me. The lightning doesn't take advice from anyone. The willow doesn't need to learn to stay in. As sun seeks day, we'll find our way and we'll catch that dream together someday soon. We're rising like the moon. Let's go! I'm so excited! All right, here we go. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, here Do we go. Do you have my information? Oh, jump it right off the bat! Of course I do, darling. Lil Miss. Lil Miss always delivers. <laughs> Although Lil Miss Muffet, promise you'll be pleased. Uh oh. Neo, where's she at? They were seen boarding the Argus Limited a few weeks back. Weeks. Well, that isn't exactly far from here. Argus is rarely a destination for folks. Yeah. Chances are they're going to Atlas. Going straight to Atlas. Yep. Shit. Where's Neo? Ah! You know, you turned out to be quite the interesting customer. Yeah. Cinder. Oh. Name drop. It's not often. A How the fuck did Neo tell you this? Me double the business. Oh, cigarettes. Ah! Oh my god! Neo! <laughs> oh, she has her outfit still! Neo? Maybe put away the good glasses. Yeah, it's gonna be a fight! Ah! What are you doing? Music! Music! Oh, oh! <laughs> Oh my god! She's back! Yo, they're just watching, dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, the fight going around me! Oh my god, Mary Poppins! She's got green uh, eyeshadow. Neo! Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, let's fucking go, dude! Yo, you're fighting a maiden. Be careful. That's enough, ladies. <laughs> take I it out. Love dinner and take show, it outside. But it's time to take it outside. Yeah. Oh my God! Holy shit! That anime. <laughs> dude, illusions nice or illus? Uh, yeah. She has like physical illusions. You've gotten stronger. Hell yeah, dude! She doesn't have a new outfit. I'm so a little upset. <laughs> Fall maiden. Whoa! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god! I'm literally gonna fucking fall back. The torch. Don't have time for your misplaced blame, girl. I didn't kill your boss. If you want revenge, take it up with Little Red. Wow. I don't know, you are to blame, dude! Yo! Oh, they're getting like a full on fight! One with a grudge against Ruby. Oh my god, Neo! Yo, Neo! We She's... both want that girl dead. Oh shit. So quit wasting your time fighting me. And let's discuss how we kill her together. Oh fuck. Manipulating. Neo. That is who is okay, the. Then. Let's she's talk. she's literally the reason why Torchwick's dead. <laughs> Me? Right. Oh my God! What a great fucking fight, dude! I'm gonna watch that like 
10,000 times. Holy shit. Neo in top fucking form. Who animated? Tones I passed through were all damaged or unfinished. Who animated that fight, dude? Holy this place shit! Looks fine. Oh! Maybe everyone left in a hurry. What is this? Took a turn. The Ice Queen is cold. Hmm. Nani? <laughs> Stay on guard. Yeah, yeah. Please, you're gonna have a headless horseman show up pretty soon. Oh, kick in the front door, I guess. Why is the door locked, though? Why would the door be locked? And there's, like, nobody here, though. Close the door already! Uh, <laughs> what do you mean close- There's nothing here as it is. You're not even in the house, lady! What the hell do you mean close the door? That makes no sense. Come on, now. I saw a chimney from the outside. That's odd. Maybe we could get a fire going? Please, I'll look for some blankets. Oh my god. Yeah, go with her. The Ice Queen is cold. Confirmed. Oh, Let's pictures! Study. Or library? Whose house is this? Oh! Is that Torch Rick? Yo! That little boy! Is that Torch Rick? What do you think? He's got red hair! Something doesn't feel right. Let's look Yo! Is Weiss! Are they dead bodies? Dude! Is that Torchwick? Is that little girl Neo? Oh, fuck. Yo, don't fall asleep! Holy shit, day five! They literally died in their sleep. The fuck? That's literally on some day five shit right there. Oh my god. Yo, who are these people? Yo, if this is Torchwick's house, I'm gonna flip my shit! Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, and you can see it melting. That's a really good effect. It's the same in every house. Everyone's- What? Everyone died Bodies. in their sleep? Every bed in every home. It's like the whole estate just went to sleep and never woke up. Oh, straight up day five. Staying here, right? We don't have a choice. Storm outside's only getting worse. Hashtag don't we fall asleep. to death before we made it anywhere. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well, might as well get comfortable. <laughs> How are you not affected? Yeah, fat chance. Okay then. Oh. Let's do something. What book was that? If this place wasn't abandoned, it might still have supplies we could use. Hey, yeah. Maybe even a car. A car? We'll do another sweep of the grounds. That's so weird. <laughs> Just driving no one else in cars goes anywhere alone. Yeah, use the buddy system. Yang and I can search the other buildings for vehicles. Hmm. Fine. I guess. Whatever I, gets me out of this house. I don't know. She doesn't seem to be happy about that. Well, I guess they're getting their alone time. Everyone wants so badly. <laughs> Who did Ruby go with? Oscar? Maybe. Oh, Weiss. Ah. The Ice Queen. Food always makes me feel better. <laughs> Warm <saying>. milk? <laughs> right. Aw. Come on, Weiss. Oh my gosh, I'll I like- tell you what. Oh. You keep that fire fed. I. And I'll find us a story to read before bed. Oh god, more fairy tales. <laughs> What's your favorite fairy tale? Let's drop another one on you. Oh my goodness. I, I'm really interested about Maria. A lot of people think that she, myself included, she's like the grandmother in the Red Riding Hood story. But there's also the bad, the big bad wolf who pretends to be the the, the, the the nice grandmother. So I don't know if she's friend or foe yet. I'm very interested to find out more about her. Something tells me that's not street legal. Just making small talk. Yang, like, doesn't want to be near Blake right now, it seems. What do you think happened here? There's that well in the square. Maybe water contaminated. The grim underwater. The yeah, grim underground. The, the freaking cl one with the in the opening. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, no. Oh, come on. I don't know. Talk to her. Talk. I'm just tired. <sighs> yeah. I mean, this is a weird place to have that kind of conversation. 
I would say, but I hey, mean, no I time, something. no time like the present. A wheelbarrow? Not a wheelbarrow. It's like a cart. <gasps> oh shit! What is it? I. Fuck! They're both seeing Adam now. <sighs> I was just seeing things. I'm sorry. You're I saw both the flashes from that night. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you think Adam's still out there? Of course he is. I don't know. And not he went out back to the White Fang. Not out there, serious but serious consequences. He's still there. But he never really liked people telling him what to do. Oh boy. Adam's strong, but his real power comes from control. Yeah, you know he that better than anyone. He used to get in my head, make me feel small. But now I see he just wanted to pull me down to his size. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm not leaving. And if we ever see him again, I promise I'll be there. I don't know, Blake. Don't I'll make... protect you. Don't make a promise what? you can't keep. What? Uh oh. Forget it. She didn't like Let's you saying that. that. But what about? We're fine. We uh... can put that flap it up to Bumblebee in the morning. Should carry everyone. Oh God, Bumblebee. <laughs> oh boy. She didn't like her saying that, I'll protect you, like, because that, that makes it seem like she needs saving. It makes her feel inferior to everybody else. Oh, shit! Yo, that's Harry Potter right there! What the- <laughs> Yo, what the heck? That's so cool! There. That's dope! And mag- On second thought, Yeah, maybe that's we not magic. This room closed. That's literally on huh? some magic right there. I'm just- Not sure how well my uncle's taking all of this. Yeah. Oh. Come on. We'll never get to Atlas on an empty stomach. I like this downtime, actually. Like, partners to partners. Like, Ruby Weiss and then Blake and Yang. She mentioned Crow. Like, Crow's probably, like, in his head. That's probably why, why he's distancing himself. Are we really still going to Atlas? You don't want to go back. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. Wouldn't she, we be? she doesn't want to go home. I mean, you heard what Jen said. If there's no way to kill <clears throat> Salem, then what's the point? What's the point in all of this? Yeah. Weiss, you, you gotta have be hope. Serious. You gotta have hope. Don't give up. Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I I'm just really tired, and I really really wait need this place. wait the grim. Anything in Gang's there? tired. Weiss is tired. Everyone who's fallen asleep in this city is dead. More on this alcohol. In this town is dead. At least we'll never have problems starting a fire. Does the Grim put What's them that? to sleep? Is that how it kills them? What the fuck? Also, yeah, don't a show Crow this cellar? basement. Great. Ah, what? <gasps> Whoa, what that scared that? me! Don't do that, Ruby! <laughs> Canned food. Canned oh, beans! Trust me, you put enough salt on anything and it will taste just fine. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh boy. Is that baked beans? Yo, that grim is under there. That's why it's sealed I shut. I seriously hate this place. Dude, did the people of the city close the grim in there? And now it's act Oh, fuck me, dude. I love how this chapter ended the same way the last one did with like metal clinking. Oh no! They hit that grim underground and I think that grim just like is making everyone tired or something. Neo is back, dude! And we got another song. Is that, is that Casey? Yo, is that Casey? Or is that Sandy? It's so hard to tell now. I like the music. Nice. Oh my god, man. Holy shit, what a chapter. Oh my god, what a chapter, dude. <laughs> Yo, the animation alone. The animation alone. Oh my god, hold on. I, I need to go. Hold on. Oh my god, I just want to look at it. Dude. This looks crazy good! I cannot believe- Like, Neo is a hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and we're seeing now that Cinder 
is holding her own too. Like she's not even using maiden powers. Like, oh my god, Neo! Holy shit! Oh my god! This is so crazy. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this! Dude, the weight, the impact, the connection, dude! Everything is really good. I want to know who animated this, dude. Joel Mann, I think he's the animation director this season. Fuck, dude, you did a great job directing this. That's enough, ladies. <sighs> That's enough, ladies. No, 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 no. Take it outside. Oh my god. This was incredible. And she's got the fucking Roman hat, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. I just want to see the, the choreography. Jesus! Yo! <laughs> I wish she had... It would have been super cool if she had Torchwick's cane too. Yo, fucking get wrecked. Yo, I... Oh my god, beautiful. Fucking gorgeous, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious. This was a great fucking chapter. Like, the second half, I think, was really great in terms of... I think the second half was great in terms of just having everyone... Like, the downtime I was talking about. Like, Ruby and Weiss are talking. Weiss is having some second thoughts about the whole thing. So, not every everyone's not completely on board. Everyone's not like, okay, well, we still have to do this. There are doubts being brought up and... You know, everyone's in their own head about certain things, like Weiss going back home, and also what, what Jin said. Ruby is still pretty optimistic. Crow's probably in shambles right now. He wants to be by himself. And then the Blake and Yang thing, it's slowly building up to what I want it to be, which is Ruby, I'm sorry, which is Blake and Yang basically just like firing all cylinders, telling each other how they feel. And they're slowly like building that up, I think, right now. Like, again, with the ending, how, how Yang responded to Blake saying, I'll protect you. It's very clear that Yang most likely doesn't want to feel like she has to be protected or feel weak by everything because, you know, that's just not who she is. She's a strong character. It's more, I feel like she does better at having people rely on her versus her relying on others. And that probably made her feel a little inferior, even though it came from a good place or or uh, it came from a, uh, a positive place for her. But goddamn, dude, Neo's back. She's teaming up with Cinder, which, again, Cinder is manipulating her. Because at the end of the day, this whole grand scheme, like, Cinder recruited Emerald. Cinder created, recruited Mercury. She recruited Torchwick. And she got, like, she indirectly got him killed. Like, it wasn't Ruby. Ruby didn't kill her. I mean, didn't kill Torchwick, you know? He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, essentially. But, yeah, like, he died because... Oh, my God! And then the Brunswick Farms, the picture! This picture right here. This little chap right here. And this little girl right here. I would not be surprised, at this point, seeing this now... I don't know if all of these people are related or if they just all live on the farm together. But, like, Roman and Neo growing up together. Oh, my God. And then, like, their whole family dies! And then they go off and they join, like, the criminal world. And they become corrupt as they get older. And Brunswick Farms, Torchwick Farms. He changes his name. And Neo, probably traumatized by all of this, never speaks again. That's the connection. I think that's what it is. Oh my god, dude. I did not think we'd get this much. I did not think we'd be getting this much. But, um, holy shit, what a great chapter, man. I, I really, really, really like this. Great choreography. The first half was just all fighting, getting the reintroduction of Neo, and then the second half with uh, kind of setting up for what's going to be uh, really tough times for Team Ruby and company. I hope nothing happens to Crow just because of the intro. Like, he's already, like, taking a tough toll on everything that Ospin said. His mind's not in the right place, and then this Grimm's probably going to show up and cause trouble. I, I just don't want anything bad to happen to Crow. But with all that said, guys... That is my reaction. That's everything for right now. Oh my goodness, this is great. Um, I'm going to be back uh, in a couple of days, obviously, to do my live stream discussion. I'm going to try to put a review together for this and everything else. And I'm going to go back and watch that fight like 20 more times. That fight was so well choreographed. But uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I really hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Leave your thoughts as always in the comments. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.